हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग विथ डिवाइन पब्लिक स्कूल वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द चैप्टर वन ओनली एंड दिस इज द थर्ड लेक्चर एफ इकोनॉमिक्स नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन डेटा इन इकोनॉमिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ स्टेटिस्टिकल इंफॉर्मेशन एंड सम ऑफ द रिक्वेस्ट एस्पेक्ट्स इन कलेक्टिंग स्टेटिस्टिकल इंफॉर्मेशन सो दिस आर द थ्री टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टूडे in our third lecture i hope you have been clear with the second lecture and you are writing the notes from the video whatever the things which are written on the video so i hope you have been clear with that topics let's start with the first topic presentation of information in economics now in study of economics you can learn the different aspects of economics with the different ways now here are the three ways how you can learn in a descriptive manner descriptive manner means in a written form if any theories are there in a written form you can able to measure it then after by the way of data tables you can measure means that descriptive form can be converted into data tables if you want to learn some theories so that theories will be based on certain uh, concepts so that concept can be understood with very easily with the help of data tables if they are there and then after by the way of graphs and diagram now to understand in a descriptive manner here it can show a relation between the price and a commodity to know the relation between the price and a com of a and a demand of a commodity we can say here the law of demand states that when a price of a commodity falls when a particular commodity is been taken up and it price falls so it demands expands a demand will increase as well as vice versa vice versa means opposite will happen it means when a price of a commodity expands means price increases the demand will fall it is a inverse relationship it is a inverse relation which is having between price and a demand of a commodity we are talking about the same commodity only so let us understand with the help in a data form so here price is given data demand is given price of a commodity which is present in rupees and a demand of a commodity which is in units so when a 20 rupees is there the demand is 20 units when 15 rupees is there the demand is 40 units it increases so you find that the, when there is a fall of 5 rupees from 20 to 15 the demand increased by 20 units so it became 40 again when there is a decrease of price from 15 to 10 units so you find that at 10 rupees you find the demand is 60 units it increase again by 20 again there is a fall from 10 rupees to 5 rupees and now 5 rupees the price you find that the demand is 80 units so this help us to know that this the price is decreasing and you find the demand is increasing here as the price decrease 5 rupees the demand is increasing by 20 units so this is how you can know the the particular line that when a price of a commodity falls the demand expands and vice versa will happen so this can be clearly understood with the help of data tables but again more precisely if you want to know it can be known with the help of a diagram so on a particular diagram you can plot and you can know but before plotting you have to know that what is you have to plot so here on the x axis demand is been taken which is independent variable and on the y axis that is price which is dependent on the demand so it is a dependent variable which is been taken up. now here we can say on the x axis 2 cm equals to 1 unit that is here the 20 units have been taken sorry by mistake it is 1 unit here 20 units are there and here you find that 1 cm 5 units are there. so 5 5 unit gap price you find here so every 2 meter gap 20 40 60 80 is being taken or 1 meter 1 cm you find 10 10 units are been taken up now you can see that at rupees 20 you find 20 is demand at rupees 15 then demand is fall it will find demand increase to 40 so it increase from here to here when 10 rupees is a price the demand increase to 60 so from 40 it became 60 and again further decrease in price you find that the demand increased to 80 so here there is a reduction in price but here there is a increase in demand so you find that the price is coming falling down from up to down but here you find that the demand is increasing it is moving from left to right so this curve this data table represents the 
in relation between price and a demand of a commodity now this type of slope is called as downward slope from ref to right where y is falling and x is extending and economics this help us to study about this following parameter so economics studies the relation between the various parameter and here we are studying about what relation the relation is cause effect relation so it shows that what is the cause and what is the effect of the particular price of a commodity so this is called as what cause and uh, effect relation of a particular economic study so this is how you can understand so first is by descriptive by the way of line second is the by way of table and third way is nothing but the by way of diagrams or graphs so this can be understood very easily about the concept of law of demand that is when a price increases the demand falls and it, when a demand increases price falls i hope you are being clear with this let's move to the importance of statistical information now in this there are four points first point says about statistical information supports and confirms a principle means every statistical information or every data is been related or it has certain principles now principles it reminds me the introduction if you have gone with the first lecture in the introduction we have studied that how economics came it came with the behavior study of human behavior by the way of what by the philosophical and scientific principles it was written there so here also you find that human behavior is been studied with the help of principle and theories based on certain science now to know that particular human behavior you have to in real life this theory is in real life you can be practiced with different times and different places so in real life you have to do certain activities now activities like you have to go with taking surveys questionnaires you have to prepare you have to talk to the people and know about the particular bit about the particular product so surveys are been taken up and that surveys shows you what all things are happening in the market now so this so after doing survey regarding any topic that data has been collected it is presented into the quantity that is in a numerical form and that can be easily understood by applying different statistical formulas so this can be known now same way what we have understood about the law of demand so the data of a price of a commodity and a, its demand is been understood with help and it shows the cause and effect relation between so that is been help that data that data about a price of a commodity as well as the demand of a commodity helped us to understand the clear cut picture of law of demand so this is how it supports a principle and philosophy then after you find that second topic is second point important point is it gives an idea about changing trends it shows the changes which are occurring up in the different trends now trend word is been used because you have to go whenever the data is of a time period of a particular time for example from data are given from 1951 to 2011 of a population so you can easily easily know what all the trends can be obtained so to obtain such trends such economic parameter changes what all happen you have to go with measuring the that particular data so for all the things you can measure it shows the share of agriculture is falling in the national income like after the independence time we find more of farmers were there there was not much industries in our india so what happened after slowly slowly 1980 81 or 1990 industrial sector came up slowly and it start increasing after 1991 it increased more and finally in 2001 it has taken a rapid growth in industrial sector but before it was an agriculture sector so how the share of agriculture sector fall by every year or by every 10 years that can be known so which year there was a more change came that can be represented that can be known with this particular thing as well as we can know the production of the different sectors like in agriculture sector how much production was been there in industrial sector how much production of goods was been there in this particular 1951 1961 1970 1981 1991 2001 2000 so like this trends can be known 
now then also then after we can say how sales revenue of a particular firm is been changing means a particular firm is there suppose one particular shop business is, is there so how that how much sale is been doing how much turnover is been doing in a particular one year then after three years then after five years so five years data if you have collected of a one particular shop you can see that in an initial base how much selling was been done and today and after completion of five years how much sale that particular shopkeeper is been doing so that can be also no same way like different industries reliant pepsi coca-cola palleji britannia different industries tata mahindra is there so their sales in the initial basis and after the 25 30 50 years of completion of their industries how much is the sales is been going on so that can be known we can get idea about that particular trends changing then after after knowing the changes and trends, we can compare that particular study. Now, using the stat appropriate proper statistical tool, you can use the comparison of the different time periods. You can use to compare the different regions. You can use to compare across the nations of that particular thing. So, how? By taking the data. By taking the data of 1951 and 2015. By taking the data of 1951 and 2000. 15 it help us to know the particular exact growth rate of Indian national income so how Indian national national income is been growing every year by year so what was the growth rate in 1951 and what is the growth rate in 2015 we can picture it out which can we can compare and get a comparative study ready then after we have to make a precise presentation of fact now what are the fact they are talking about that is the truth what truth shows you in 1951 and what comparison after comparing what in 2000 what truth what is the magnitude what is the change of degree you have to write so many of this can be known with the help of easily graphs datas are been there and that should be converted into graphs so this is how facts can be known right like inflation what is inflation inflation is a continuous rise in a price of a commodity if one particular price is there and there one particular commodity is there and the price is constantly rising up so that is called as what inflation same way for every product in every region if the price rises there is no fall of price that particular economy can be so can be called as it is an inflation rate then after agriculture production we can know about how much production has been done in 1951 and 2015 like that we can compare the data and we can present the fact so regional disparities disparities means inequalities so inequalities of in income in the different different regions so this all things can clear help us to clear out the picture and the trends and it can be easily understand by a lay person now what is a lay person lay person means those person who does not who are not familiar with the topic not does not understand the topic or they can also get an idea by understanding by what by if you show the graph if you show the data and graph to him he or she might understand it very well so this is how it is happening then after you find what are the different requisites or different aspects in collecting statistical information so what are the things what are the points you have to keep while collecting this particular statistical information first point says about source of data the source of data should be reliable and universally accepted now what is reliable it should be relevant it should be proper it should be exact or precise so that we can measure it right now what how we can get or from where some of the agencies are there some of the different organizations are there which gives us this report like to come to know the different comparative data of such parameters of countries of the world we can go with world development report so world development report gives the different economic parameters like literacy rate education rate uh, literacy means the education rate of the particular population of one country to another country so how education came up literacy came up then after inflation growth rate production of goods so all this particular changes human development is been known with the help of world development report suppose we want to know for india economic survey of india is there then after CSO that is central statistical organization is there so these are the organizations give you precise exact data of their surveys and 
there is there you can measure the growth and development of development parameters of India. There you can find out on different different years what was the growth and how the development took place in India. Secondly, you find that clarity regarding dependent and independent variable. Now, you should be knowing what is dependent variable, what is independent variable. Now, dependent variable is dependent on independent variable. Now, what is independent? It is not dependent. It is the same independent variable. Now, here, there is a cause and effect relation between the variables. The cause variable is treated on the independent variable. Now, this cause is called as independent variable and the effect after of a cause is called as dependent variable. So that can be represented. So this independent variable, which is now called as cause, which is called as independent variable, is represented on the x-axis. Now x-axis means the horizontal line. And the dependent variable, which is the effect, it shows the effect. It is measured on the y-axis, that is the vertical line. So you can measure on the x-axis independent variable, on the y-axis dependent variable. Now, for example, they have taken about rainfall and agricultural production. To know the relation between agriculture and products and rainfall, the rainfall is dependent on agriculture? No, rainfall is is an independent variable. We cannot say this 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 time this this where rainfall will happen. So it is an independent variable. So on the rainfall only, agricultural crops will grow. So farmers are awaited for monsoons so that when rain will fall the crops will grow so this is how it happens so rainfall is an independent variable which will measure on the x-axis whereas agricultural production is the independent variable so it will measure on the y-axis so this is how you have to get clear picture regarding what is dependent and what is independent variable i hope you have been clear with this let's move to the next one that is selecting appropriate scales now, what is scale? Scales is nothing but on drawing a graph that is x-axis and y-axis. This is x-axis and this is y-axis. So, x-axis every centimeter, how much units or how which how many years, how many distance you have been keeping up that should be mentioned. Same way on the y-dependent variable, how many rupees, how many population percentage you are calculating, you have to mention it up. So. To obtain systematic graph, if you want your graph to be show proper data, exact data, clarity of the clarity of the data, proper size, proper scale must be taken on the both axes. So on the both axes, the size and the population of anything which you're taking up that should be exact. So measurement should be exact for every one centimeter, for every two centimeter, what you are regarding, how much units data are being there. Suppose that units units are in thousand and lakhs so that time you have to convert your table that is you have to convert this particular big amount of numbers into shorter one how by writing in the above table this particular thing suppose 10,000 is there so you can write in the table 10 and you can above you can write the demands are in thousands and you can write 10 5 6 11 anything so like this you can prepare like here we can say one distance on a map that is for example one centimeter equals to hundred ten thousand units or one year one centimeter equals to five years so like this different measurements you have to write on the x-axis and on the y-axis when you're drawing a graph so this are the few important points you have to keep in the mind i hope you have been clear with the particular topics we have learned about presenting the data that is presenting the information in economics by the way of descriptive manner that is their theories which is being given second by the way of tables that is the table which you have seen for price and demand of a commodity third by the way of graph so that data table was been converted into a picture form that picture form is nothing but a diagram so this is how it has been helping us to know easily any lay person can understand very well now importance we have learned that is in importance you find that statistical information always supports a principle so it is always based on certain principles second it gives the clear idea or about the changing trends what are the changes how by the year passes how the changes have took place so different economic parameters are known 
then after we have learned that we are knowing taking two different data or three data we can make a comparative study so that studies help us to give the presentation very usefully so all these things help us so this was the importance and lastly we studied about this particular aspects to be kept in collecting data so first was the source of data that data should be from the precise exact and it should be universal you know, it should not be bluffing or it should be just anyone's just simply calculation no it should be a perfect so different agencies authorities and we can say organizations are there and world development report it shows you parameters comparing between different countries economic survey of india is there so it shows growth and development report so like this different useful informations it gives you exact source of data helps you to study then after it was about like clarity you should know what is dependent and independent and what should be measured on x axis and y axis lastly scales at every centimeter how much units or how much percent it demand graph uh, sorry how much quantity demand how much years it has been measured on x axis and how much percentage price rupees you are measuring on y axis should be mentioned so this is how you try to plot a graph and some of the points should be clear with you i hope you are being clearly understood this topic for today i want you to write the notes all this information which i have written in the video to you in your notebook nothing else you have to write you have to just copy from your video this all the slides which i am playing up in that you have to pause and you have to write the information nothing else so this will help you for further notes and this helps you to make it understand very easily i hope the, all the points are clear we'll study later the next topic in the fourth lecture thank you for today be safe